Yo, what's going on, guys? Mundo is actually decent right now. He hasn't been decent in, in my opinion, since last season. Last season when Titanic Hydra was legitimately broken on him. And the reason why Mundo's so good right now is Bork got a nerf. It was like last patch or two patches ago. And then on top of that, Lord Dominic's Regard, which is a pretty common AD carry item, no longer does percent base damage to where if you have way more health in them, they don't just do crazy damage against you. So the only way for AD champions to really hurt you is with Bork, which is nerfed. And for AP champions, the only real way is with Leandries in terms of them doing more damage, the more health you have. We have Ruby Crystal Star. Mundo's a slow build. You need to get to Heart still, and then you kind of win from there. If your build, you're gonna be going for typically Warmogs first into Heart still, just because Warmogs is a lot more meta, you get the movement speed and um it is more health overall a lot of healing so we'll be going for war mogs in the heart still third item is hyper situation you can go visage versus magic damage matchups sunfire thorn mel uh even on ending despair you got a lot of options for that early on we're just looking to farm get a few grass maybe garen's not a hard matchup at all my grass is up i'll trade an auto with him trade another auto it's a really good trade for us i actually have more health regeneration than him as long as uh, as long as I keep his passive off. Against most matchups, you can't walk up like I'm doing right now, like a Riven or a Darius. If I walk up to auto them, they're gonna beat my head in. Against those really nasty matchups, you have to really rely on your cleaver to do all the work, whether it's damaging them or last hitting. These last hits are super, super important. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, that was a very, very uh, bad trade for us. We'll just have to chug potion. He already chugged his potion, though. He's flash ignite. He's going to look to flash QE. He ignited me really early. He doesn't have flash, though. Land Q. Mundo, the Amumu's here. We cleaver it. I could still probably kill. Nice. I just need help. Well, actually, I don't need help. I don't need help. I can TP back to lane. Back is exactly what I'm going to do. We'll TP on back. Won't really miss anything. We could have played it slower against the Garen. We were playing a little hot and heavy there. Sorry to cost us health. Mundo's cleaver does more damage the healthier your opponent is. So when I was hitting him with a cleaver into auto, every time he tried to auto me, I'd basically just cleaver auto like that. He was getting wrecked. As he lost more health, it was becoming less effective. And then he also got level two. And at level two, Garen's a bit stronger than we are because of his spin. To have his spin and Qs. Kind of tricky for us to deal with. Mundo's good at short trades early on against weaker early game characters. Splash that into him. Get down our W. Pop it on him. Oh, we missed that. Is what it is. I have my grasp up. I would like to use that. It's tricky because we don't want to take a bunch of damage to actually use it. Took off his passive there. Slapping the minion. As long as it kills something. It, big AoE damage. It's like a bowling ball kind of. There we go. 123. Auto E. We had minion advantage, so he was having to catch up. Unless he wanted to give up those last hits so we could just beat him down since we were already ahead of him in the last hitting department. Give the cleaver auto. He's in trouble here. No W. Q auto E. I had a health advantage and item advantage. He's not going to win that. Now, if that was a Darius, I probably wouldn't have done that. <laughs> Garen's a bit easier to play against early on. The harder the matchup, the slower you have to play this Mundo with your cleavers and be willing to give up a little bit more CS. Got Demolish. Perfect. It's five minute mark, too. Got our W on. I'm probably dead here. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm dead. He had two amps. The thing is, if I run from Bran into Garen, I die. So, it is what it is. Well played by Bran. I did get a plate at least. It's part of what killed me was wanting the plate. Once it's five minute mark plus on the clock, top and mid turret take full damage. The reason it's like that is there was a meta and pro play where the people would just lane swap like really early on and just rush down turrets. League turned into like just breaking turrets non-interactive. So they didn't like that. So they forced you to kind of stay in lane because top and mid turret, you can't really hurt for four to five minutes. I just win this. Gone with the Q. I have my R as well. R heals us more the lower in health we are. Even without a Moomoo, we crush him here. Absolutely. Moomoo took the gold, unfortunately. I'm going to push since I do have Demolish. If you're playing Mundo for some reason without Demolish, I'm on my way. I'm going to be there late. And Moomoo has that solo. Yep. If you don't have Demolish, you don't necessarily need to push away, but since I do, there's a high incentive to push it. Let's bowling ball it. No, Garen's chasing a Moomoo. I'm on my way. Uh, Moomoo needs to get to that plant. Oh, okay, that was actually a pretty good pop. Use the Q to Vex. I hit it with the cleaver, W auto E. Cleaver the Garen. My grass is on a cooldown here. Get him with another Q auto E. He doesn't have R, so I'm actually really surprised he's fighting this. Yeah, it was actually really weird that they fought that. Oh, I missed cannon. That's a tragedy. I didn't get the splash on that either. He's about to be six. He is certainly very close to six. I have ghost, so I feel like I can kind of get away. His art is more damage than Lauren health we are, so I kind of have to. Play it smart here. Got him with the bowling ball. That stripped his pass and once he takes damage from a champion or turret or epic monster. From a serious source. So his cooldown on that gets a lot lot lower per level though. I think it's probably only seven seconds at this point. He's not last hitting very well. I don't mind. Just keep crashing it. Ah, oh, jeez. By the time I finish clearing the way, the next way is basically here. I don't think I die here. Yeah, we're chilling. He's he's getting a lot of health back though. I'm actually gonna reset. He has gained way too much health. Oh, Zed's diving. This dive doesn't make I didn't even have my minions push, so that dive was pretty forced. Auto eat. Alright, it works though, it works. Finally get warm mugs. You might say, well, why not heart still first? Certainly in this matchup, since this is so particularly easy, heart still would be fine. But most matchups, they're not going to be quite this easy. To where having the stronger, more meta item, which is warm mugs at the moment, is simply better. He's losing so much of his turret. Tanks take turrets the fastest early game. Demolish has already done 1500 damage, man. Turrets only have 5k health. Uh, we'll go Mogs. We'll start building the heart still. Pip controller. I have my fast reboots as well, so I'm pretty quick. There you go, buddy. Sit on that. He's going to miss cannon last hit. He might have even missed XP from that too. Don't do it, cannon. Don't be a hero. Boom. 
more health than heart still. It gives you the movement speed. And it gives you a bunch of health if you haven't been hit by a champion within 6 seconds. Or by other sources within 3, like minions. I'm coming. I'm going to miss a lot for it, though. Pushing away from me. It's all right. I'm going to ghost on in there. Miss my cleaver on Garen. Auto eat. Got it. Pick up my passive since he hit me with a hard CC. I feel like Garen's just going to try to flee once he realizes he has no damage here. You have no power here, Garen the Gray. But he turns out he is just Garen the Gray. He can't. <laughs> yeah, all he has his team at. He's so freaking weak right now. Conquer or Garen? He should have gone Phase Rush, especially against Mundo. He could get away from my. Oh, that was tragic. So he could get away from my Cleaver. Slow. His turret's gone here when I so choose. The snap of my fingers, it shall crumble. Oh, do. Oh, do, do, do. It's the beauty of Demolish. Very beautiful. Uh, I don't even want to hit it. I'll just save the Demolish so it doesn't go on a cooldown. Get our grass going. We need to get into combat. Huh. Get our W on right as he starts hitting us for extra healing. Q auto E. I'm going to save R until his ignite's kind of over. I don't think you realize Brand wasn't too interested in that. Got my R on because I got to use it at some point. Auto E. I still have my passive too. Yeah, nice try, bud. W. We just auto him down there. Yeah, that's the beautiful thing about Mundo. Brand's a full item. Garen, to be fair, is not a full item, but still, Brand's a full item, and I win that. I'm only one full item. Oh, I don't, that's so unfair, Vex. I didn't even see her. I wasn't paying attention at all. Very lame. Your triple magic damage is Yasuo Garen for their physical. Mercs are tempting, but Swifties are simply great on mundo so i don't mind going swifty since it's good against both physical and of course magic damage because it's not a commitment in either direction it's playing it neutral the true politician's choice and it's the cheapest imagine a video game where the cheapest boot is also the fastest boot doesn't make a lot of sense does it it's like if the cheapest sword is also the strongest sword makes sense right the most powerful current bonus health yeah, I have a bunch of bonus HP I can easily get more Mox heart you get it immediately on Mundo from uh, just like the extra health and some grass got W on because he's trading oh this is Garen he's he's not happy he honestly can't get away from me though I have Swifties even if I don't hit cleavers enough space like this I can run him down and bonk him oh it's the bonk let's splash it that splash whoo it does more damage to lower in health we are which is kind of interesting of course our W E and R all scale off our HP so does our passive the only thing that Mundo doesn't scale off HP with is his Q damage in fact, his Q is more effective the tankier his opponent is, which is kind of weird. There you go, buddy. Thank you for that. This Garen really isn't trying too much anymore. Maybe he's just trying to bait me. I don't have such little damage, though. Third item, since we're ahead, we could just go damage, tank damage item like Overlords or Titanic. I'm thinking Overlords. You would think Titanic would be the clear choice because, oh, you AoE damage, you can clear waves fast. I'm, look how I'm already turbo clearing these waves. How much damage? 2k? 
No, 1,150. No, Vex, don't do it. Watch out fast, I get all this health back. Okay, never mind, she hit me. And there it is. 200 a second. Once the minions hit you, it does go away for three seconds. This turret should be gone here in a moment. I'll just relay my controller. I could take big trades with her underneath her turret. And she's able to clear those waves quick. <clears throat> just a uh, single ability and the wave's gone. She shielded it. Oh, Garen went for the minions. That scumbag. They're countering me. Cleaver it. Always hover the cursor. We want to get auto pressure on. Hover the cursor. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Got the cleaver. Oh, bonk! Smack him with a raw E. There's a grasp on that E as well. Which is... How much damage is that? I know grass does more damage and heals you more the more health you have. Q, auto, E. There it is. We could probably group and butcher those guys over there. Yasuo does have Kraken though. I need to get heal cut because of Rockabaka. Could break this turret. I'm gonna hold on to my Dimash though. Hey Yasuo. Got my W on. He's fighting inside of his wind wall, which is tacky. Very trashy. Doing that so I can't cleaver him, of course. And I get all my health back. <laughs> Close fight, man. Close fight. That was a really bad angle for my E splash. All of our bonus AD from our E, having our bonus health gives us bonus AD. He's got no shot. I really wanted to pick that up. He gave me another grass stack. Which is more permanent health. Thus making me stronger. My Mogs is about to be in. Yep, it's in right now. Chugging me full. They need to send more than two people. They need three people minimum to get the job done. Probably Brand. Especially if he had Rylize. That would make it a lot easier for them. This Garen's pissing me off. He's taking what does not belong to him. He's going to be in that bush for sure. Yep. I think Caitlyn got it. Oh, nice Caitlyn barrier. Wait, did Garen only give me 100 gold there? That didn't look like very much. We do have R. We're sitting on enough gold to buy a full item. I don't feel like I need to take the time to recall, though. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll get the item and then fight these guys. 500 health. I'll go for it. We get our W on super early. Oh, this is kind of scary. Garen Spin does shred armor. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Soraki Hills are pesky. She's still like incredibly high health too. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, not yet. I'm still breathing, boys. 
Save me, somebody! <laughs> Holy crap, we're still living. Holy crap. <laughs> That's funny. Minions couldn't stop my Warmog Hill because my Eve range is pretty high. It's 175 auto, so I QE. Melee minions couldn't reach. I'll pick that up. Thanks, buddy. I'm going to run this little rascal down. He needs to feel my power. He's, gonna, he's about to be on a milk carton, dude. He went missing there. Pop. Oh, I'm dead. They're about to put me on a milk carton. I got three grasp. I'll say worth, even though they got 700 gold. I'm surprised I'm not worth more than that. Should be at least worth 2,000. <laughs> wow, man. Mundo hasn't felt this good in a long time. I've been fed on Mundo in probably a dozen games over the last 10 patches. He's not felt this good. These guys have no damage versus me. I am going to pick up Bramble. I think Bramble's essential to where when someone's hitting me and I'm hitting them, they won't really be healing too much. No Executioners is a choice. It's only 250 health? Bro, they really made the heal cut item suck. 250 health, 55 AD. That's not great. You're not building it because it's a good item. You're just building it for the heal cut, I guess. Got with the Q, auto eat. I didn't get the heart still stack. Come on, ladies. I got to use my art to catch up. I'll go for you, Bran. You're looking kind of thick. Oh, do it, Bran. Do it. Squeeze it, Bran. There you go. Close fight. Close fight. His two full items, by the way. I <laughs> one, two, three. Amazing what 3K gold can do. so fast too you don't need war mogs with this or uh dead man's or force of nature normally like a mundo relies heavily on dead man's or force of nature to get to where he wants to be but it's just not necessary with war mogs because you know, it's already given us so much movement speed but we just don't need dead man's should have got on my w for that Alright, yeah. I think this game is just trying to make it end. He's tired again, pooped. If my R was up, I'd fight this. These turd burglars still don't even really have heal cut. He's trying to get to my thing before me. Who does he think he is? I want that. Boy! That's what I want. Ooh, smack that corpse. Smack that corpse. Yeah, the Leandre's hurts. I don't have magic resist, really. Mundo clutched me there. Mundo came when we need it the most. More mogs is pumping and thumping. 357 health per second. That is, of course, with our passive as well. Auto E, we've got our W on. Let's line up with the turret. We'll R for this. I want that Soraka heart still, though. Our heart still has so much bonus health at this point. Oh, I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. I just have to try to do a little something before I die. I got a few heart stills before I went down, which is good. I took 8,000 damage there. I didn't have... Was I on R? I don't remember. But I took 8,000 damage. Branded almost all of it at 4,000. Branded nearly half. Vex, Yasuo, Garen, and the turret were blasting. You know what that means? That means I need Kanic, the single strongest magic resist item in the game. There's absolutely no comparison to its power levels. In the magic resist tank department, that is. 
Where's Koenig? There she is. It's kind of expensive. Well, actually, it's not. It's really cheap. Only 2,900 gold. Can't afford it right now. Just a little magic exists will go along, right? I mean, they have double Sork Shoes. A single Null Magic Mantle surpasses Sork Shoes. Sork Shoes is only 18 penetration. A measly 18. Pathetic. Null Magic Mantle is, is 25, so more than overshadows Sorks. Heart Steel is giving us a combined total of 1,900 health. Grasp is giving us, what is 49 times 7? you nerds out there 343 health from grasp uh 327 from overgrowth and then 320 from uh so around 320 from grasp and then overgrowth and then my just two side runes just kind of cool you don't even think about how much health you're getting from these weird little runes hey don't do that yasuo little rap scallion Half the ghost. Dude, I'm taking some crazy damage. I don't even know where it's coming from. Because I have an unbelievable amount of health. Oh, I flashed. No way. I want that heart still. Dang it. I guess it doesn't matter. The heart stills, it's basically just damage. But me getting more health at this point, I don't... Nope, it'll really make me that much tankier. We have nearly 500 AD, though. That's kind of scary. Cue the Raka. I want Raka dead. Oh, good grief. Garen R did, uh, uh just only 2,000, nearly 2,000 true damage. Wild turret did nearly 3k. Sunfire could be good. Sunfire does more damage the more health you have. So 100 damage per second to nearby enemy champs. It sounds like a lot. Five seconds would be 500 damage AOE. But we don't have Titanic yet. I think Titanic would be more valuable. We're just simply getting our thorn mill. Tank Z. I think lethality in general is bad right now. I think lethality is wildly uh, weak. It's just not strong. Lethality is only really strong, I think, at the moment in the context of jungle. If you're building like cost effective lethality item, like you'll move rush on a Kha'Zix or something. But in terms of any other role? I don't think Lethality is really good right now. This crit's pretty strong. It's not soul or anything. Boop. Oh, they have heal cut. That's probably part of what's going on as I'm not healing it. I'm healing 40% uh, less than what I was. My auto's literally one shot range minions, just a normal auto. I have more AD than they have health. Yeah, give me that heart still stack, buddy. There you go. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Nice. Even if it doesn't actually hit your real health, because I have Kainik, it still cancels your mogs. That was a good move, R. I think that's it. Overall solid game. I guess the enemy thought they outscaled. We got to almost 500 AD. Not bad. Let's get the graphs. Looking at damage dragon enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. Number two goes to Yasuo, shockingly. Not sure how that is. Maybe it's because he had Bork and he was autoing me there at the end. I don't know. Damage taken. We had the most in the game. Not a big surprise. Self mitigated. We were the most just because we had so much health. Because uh, we didn't have much armor or magic resist until the very end. And then for runes, high value. All in all, Mundo is in a pretty good spot. Certainly, you have to play him very slow before first item. Or just 
if you haven't built up an HP advantage by cleavering them down first, but all in all, he's in a great spot to carry with. If you guys enjoyed this Pundo video, let me know what champion you want to see next, and I'll catch you next time.